So this is um, the Augustinian church here on um, beside Shop Street here on the far side, the north side of the town. Yeah, I know, I was just curious. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm on the north side of town now. And this is called Bachelor's Lane here, this street along here. And the locals refer to this part of the, the north side of the town as the far side of the town. Or uh, in pronounced draw accent, you would say um, the far side, over the far side. And there's a car park just in there now. When I was going to secondary school here, there was a big, big high building here. There was no car park here. And just down there where that car is along there, um, we used to have time to kill before we'd uh, get the school bus and we'd play handball down there. Just uh, again the walls of those buildings down there. So anyway, let's progress here to the steps on the north side of the town of Drada. And the first ones are just up here. Um, on the left. <coughs> yeah, so these are the first steps here now. On the left, um, I don't know what you call these steps. Uh, this used to be a Franciscan church here. It's now called the Hugh Lane Gallery. So there's a gallery along here now. So, so I'm I'm just going to do the steps that I know of on the far side, on the north side of Draw the Town. Um, I'm sure there's probably more that I'm going to miss, but anyway, these steps lead down to Bachelor's Lane down there. And here I'm on Lawrence Street now, and that's the, Hugh, the sorry High Lanes Gallery. So there's a gallery in there, um, and that used to be a Franciscan church, and the Franciscans used to live here, along here. Taking that building just there. So this is Yeah, so this is Lawrence Street and I must do another video on the murals of Drada because they're copying Dundalk and they're putting murals all over the town in different places. So I'll do another, another video on the murals of Drada. So let's now we go on to the next steps here, which is, um, I have to go under Lawrence's Gate here and out onto the Cord Road. So those are two um, draw the pubs there on the entrance to the Cord Road. One's called Sarsfields here on the right and the other one is McHugh's and I used to go, go to McHugh's regularly to watch bands play in there. Um, the last band I actually seen in there is your man, um, I think he's brilliant, um, what's his name? Jerryfish, you know Jerryfish? I seen him playing in there and um, fantastic, fantastic. I have a few albums of Jerry Fish that are brilliant. I don't know how, why, I don't know, I don't know how or why he hasn't been really famous in America, but uh, I think he's brilliant. Jerry Fish. Look him up, people. He's brilliant. So I'm going on further on the, on the cord road here to the next set of steps. Right, so these are the first steps on the Cord Road that I'm going down. I have no idea what they're called. I'm sure someone knows the name of them here. But uh, let's go down these steps here. Now, isn't that absolutely disgusting, my friends? Absolutely disgusting. Look, it's all it's all beer cans and stuff. So I, I unfortunately, you can call me judging if you want. I don't care. But that's mainly there, uh, alcoholics 
you know, buying the cheap drink because it's all cheap, cheap cans of, of, of um, beer here and they obviously congregate down here and then when they're finished their drinking they just dump it in on the side here and walk away. You know, people like that, they have no appreciation of um, not only nature but uh, in, in, in trying to keep the, the town where they live clean and tidy. I just can't comprehend that mentality, my friends, I can't. Anyway, um, just out here now, the building straight across the road here, as, as you can see, look, just green cranes over there. That's the Docklands area. That's the, that's part of, of the port of Dorada here. So, um, yeah, as I said, I have no idea the names of these steps here. And it leads onto this road here. I don't know the name of it. Um, I'm calling it the road out to Baltray that leads on towards, um, what would you call it, uh, Termon Feck and, and Clotter Head out this way. So anyway, here we go. There is another fantastic mural there across the road, but I won't film it, film it because I'll do another video on the, on the murals of Drada, okay? So, there is a name on this, this road here, and I can't think of it, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna, let, let's just call it the Baltray Road. So I'm on the north side now of the River Bine, and all these buildings on the right here are all to do with Draw the Port. All big warehouses here for Draw the Port. So th this, these are the second uh, steps, um, halfway down the Cord Road. Well, the Cord Road, and I'm calling that road there the Baltray Road, right? So you get a point. So let's go up these ones here. So it's saying on the wall here that these steps was constructed in 1999. Um, they're probably reconstructed. So uh, I think I just have one more set of steps to show you here. Right people, so these um, are the last steps that, that I know of on the north side of um, Draw the Town. Um, again, look, that's just the beautiful um, Draw the Viaduct Bridge there. Um, yeah, so the, uh, you go down these steps again, back onto this road that I'm calling the Baltray Terman Fecken Road on the north side of the River Bine. So, um, yeah, let's go down here. and. Uh, a personal comment. Uh, this is a personal comment I'm making now, right? Um, now this this town, like I would call Drada my town, my local town. I went to school here. Uh, I was born in the Lord's Hospital. I know I live out in the country, but um, this is where this is where I was uh, born, and I went to this secondary school here. And um, some of the steps there I'm after showing you. Uh, one in particular here on the north side. I, I told you with all those beer cans and bottles all strewn uh, uh, as you go down the steps um it looks disgusting and um disgusting right and there was one or two steps there on the north side or sorry on the south side that i showed you is in uh needs needs to be cleaned up right so um yeah so i just think it should be a priority for the draw the um corporation to clean up those particular steps that I'm talking about but anyway um, however let's go down here to the Baltray Road and finish the video off down here now there's that super cool bridge
So just finish off the video here, my friends, of the steps of Drada. Just looking at this <coughs> monument here to a guy called Thomas Charles Wright, son of Ireland, hero of South American independence, and he was, um, uh, what do you call it? Achievements, Admiral of the Fleet, and he was the founding father of the Ecuadorian um, Navy. So, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed that video now of the steps of draw to my friend. My friends, um, I'm just going to do two little rants here. They're only my own personal opinions, all right? First of all is um, passing the young lad there. Um, he was smoking the hash, and uh, so I make my own my own personal comment on that, right? I can't stand the smell of hash or weed or whatever you want to call it. I, I hate it. Um, it's it's prevalent in every town, every city, every village uh, in Ireland because um, I smell it here in this town in Drada. I smell it um, in Dublin City. In the suburbs of Dublin City, uh, in in villages. Actually, last week I pulled into a car park in the heartland of the country, uh, beside the Royal Canal, and these three cars pulled in with all these young lads in them and their girlfriends, and they were 30 feet away from my car, and they were all smoking the hash, and oh, it was horrible. I had to leave, but. Uh, People may say, oh, I shall leave them alone, or do no harm, or do no harm, and that's fine, that's fine. I, I don't really give a shit about what they do, but I would never engage in a debate with them because to them, they're not addicts, they're just, it's harmless, and blah, 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 and, and, and even, if it's, even if it's legalized, which it will be eventually here, um, they'll, um, they'll still, you, you know, you're, you're, you're wasting your time, you're wasting time. Same with alcoholics, and, um, with all those cans there on, on, on the steps I showed you just back there as well. Like, if you got talking to most of them, them lads mainly, the mainly lads, uh, and you called them an alcoholic, they'd be seriously offended. To them, they're just social drinkers, right? Um, now, I drank myself, I done it for about 10 years. I used to go out every weekend with my friends, had fantastic nights out. I mean, fantastic nights out. Did I get rat-ass drunk at times? Yes, I did. Um, I had mad hangovers and a whole lot of it. But the thing about, for me, was I drank, like most people, just to lose your inhibitions. You know, stupid, isn't it, really? To lose your inhibitions, right? Uh, probably would never have met all the girlfriends I met if I wasn't drinking because I'd be too shy, too self-conscious. Um, I had great, great times out drinking, had great house parties and all the rest of it. And then one day, but here's the thing you see, the next day after going out drinking, the hangover, I would never, ever want to go out again to drink till the following weekend. I never, ever was able to say, God, that's a nice drink, that's a nice pint, or whatever, never. So. Uh, yeah, so I, I just gave it up because it says, I'm packing this in, this is bullshit, uh, I'm wasting all this money on taxis and uh, paying into discos and whatever, and um, I am going to start saving my money and see a bit of the world. That's, that's my thing about it. So, um, yeah, so the alcoholics will never regard themselves as alcoholics. They, they regard themselves as social drinkers, right? And that's fine by me, and I would be called uh, an arsehole, uh, probably the biggest arsehole to ever walk the planet, because I um, said what I thought about drink to people, and uh, and I say what I think about, about drugs, right? I'm not into drugs of any kind, I hate it, blah, blah, blah. But here's the, here's the, here's the final part of it. I never... I have never ever regarded myself better than the person who drinks or a, a person who takes drugs or takes loads of drugs. I have never ever regarded myself better than them at all. Do you know why? Because we're all imperfect and we all have a lot of shit going on in our heads. I have mine and uh, I fight a lot, a lot of crap in my head every day just like they do. And um, we're all imperfect human beings. We all haven't got a clue what the hell we're doing here on this, this earth, really. We're just getting by day, day to day, and that's all we can do as human beings. So anyway, listen, that's my bullshit rant from the town of Drada. Um, <laughs> so thanks for watching the steps of Drada. 
um, I hope that I hope the draw the corporation gets their acts together and goes out and checks some of those steps and cleans them up right uh, disgusting so some of them steps are, are disgusting and it needs to be cleaned up badly um, yeah so that's it people hope you enjoy the video stay tuned for the next one they're normally up on a Sunday uh, I hope you're all keeping safe and until the next time my friends take care see you in the next video okay bye